गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट ईयर यू वेर इन क्लास फाइव यू हैड वन सब्जेक्ट दैट वॉज कॉल्ड साइंस नाउ साइंस हैज बीन स्प्लिट इन टू थ्री डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी दैट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन today i will start with your physics that is chapter number 1 that is called matter students let me start what is matter matter is that which has weight and occupies space now to make myself this topic a clear i will take a balloon which has no air into it now i will blow air into the balloon and we will see what is the difference the size of the balloon has increased and if you will compare the mass of the empty balloon and the balloon with air we will see that the balloon having air has more mass and even we can come to know that the size of the balloon has increased by this we can prove that air is a matter and it has been clear that matter is something that has weight and occupies students please refer your book page number 10 there are three beakers shown in the figure which has some water into it to the first beaker we'll add some amount of salt and we will stir and we will see what happens next we will find that the level of water in the beaker does not change now you should ask yourself why after adding of salt the level of water has not changed the answer is student in water molecules were there and salt has occupied those space in between the molecules of water due to which the level of water has not changed students we will learn about element what is an element element is a substance which cannot be subdivided into two or more substances by any chemical means if you take an example of water if water is split into in simpler form by chemical means water will decompose to give two sub parts these two sub parts are called hydrogen and oxygen by any chemical means the subdivision of hydrogen and oxygen may not be possible so we can say that hydrogen and oxygen is called an element next topic that we will learn is an atom what is an atom atom is defined as the smallest unit of an element which may or may not have an independent existence but still takes part in chemical reaction you see in the book it is given an example of sodium but for your kind information students in the examination you may be asked 
more than one example in that case you can write an atom of sodium as you can see in my own writing i have put an atom of chlorine so students learn more than one example students now we will study about the three states of matter that is solid liquid and gases i am trying to show you an image on the screen in which you can see round structures are there these are called molecules we are studying about a topic that is called solid in solid the molecules remain fixed to their own place that is they do not move on the screen you see that in between one and next molecules there is a space that space is known as intermolecular space since the molecules are very closely packed therefore in solid intermolecular force of attraction is very strong since molecules are closely packed to each other therefore they cannot slip over each other due to which we can say that a solid has got definite shape definite size and definite form. matter are found in student three states what are these three states solid liquid and gases what makes a solid a solid is that state of matter in which the particles that makes up the solid liquid or gas are called molecules they are very closely packed to next is we will learn about molecule what is molecule molecule is defined as the smallest unit of matter which has an independent existence and can retain complete physical chemical properties of that matter to make myself very clear let us say that what is an h h means an atom of hydrogen when one more atom of h will combine with one more atom of h they becomes the molecule of a gas called hydrogen